Hey guys, welcome back. I have another Sassy Girl Aroma haul to share with you guys. Clearly, I have been on a ordering kick from her. She's had a lot of really great blends lately, um, and I really like that she does a lot of cool blends in the clamshells. So I've just been taking advantage of her um, sales because she did have one recently. This is actually two orders. One was from a restock and the other one was from a sale. Now, I mean, I was impressed with myself. Actually, the restock, I didn't get I didn't go crazy and just get everything. I, I narrowed it down to a list and then I just bought um, the stuff that I kind of was looking at but didn't really bite the bullet on um, during her sale because I was like, why not? It's on sale. So I did order from her, pre her most recent restock yesterday. So you'll see a haul for that. But I think I am really going to be on a, on a no buy, low buy for a while just because... Um, I, I literally today went through and cleaned out a ton of wax. I'm giving a ton of it away that like I just like don't really want to melt or really I'm not looking like I don't reach for it anymore. So, um, yep, I'm just doing a wax reorganiz reorganization uh, project and then getting rid of some of the stuff I don't melt anymore. So, anyways, that was a long ramble. But this, I have one more haul coming from Sassy Girl and then... I think that will be it for quite some time. I'm hoping at least I have to stay strong because I can't possibly melt all this wax. Anyways, um, all right, so let's jump right in. Don't have a card to share with you, but on her invoice, I don't have one right here, but there's a ticket stapled to the top of it. So if you've ordered from her and you get one of those tickets, I would just say hold on to the whole invoice. I don't know how exactly she's doing that, but I've been just holding on to all my invoices. But you're entering a raffle to win um, an instant pot. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I have two samples. Oops, just kidding, guys. <laughs> Clearly, that's my life. Okay, Tease Noir type. I don't know the type for this. Like, I'm assuming it's a perfume because it smells perfumey to me. It's a really good one. Like, I would wear this. It's perfumey, but not, like, musky or really heavy. It's a very soft, really feminine perfume. I like that. And if I figure out who makes this... um. I would order some. So this is a really good one. Tease Noir. Actually, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Next is Restful. I think I already have this as a sample, but I don't know the scent notes. To me, it smells a little bit like eucalyptus, but I do get like maybe a little bit of lemon in it. So that is Restful. Oops, I can't handle these uh, samples today. Coconut, water, and mango. I love this one. It's so good. It's really summery I guess so I'll probably melt this in the bathroom because it's a little bit fresh um it's fruity but not like fruit loop fruity it's just very I don't know it's a really good one try it out if you like that one. I actually think I have that one a larger combination that I'm going to look for just to see if I actually do have it in her I think they were in her grandma's gardens which by the way since I have this right here this is really old but this is what her grandma gardens used to look like she doesn't do them anymore but um I have a ton of those so anyways this last one here as a sample is Cupcake Factory. No idea what's in it. I'm assuming cupcakes, um, but unfortunately, I really don't like that one, so I am going to be passing that one along to someone else. So that's all the samples that I got. Um, let's start with the clamshells. Old Town. I kind of just bought like a, all the clamshells that I thought sounded interesting. So this one is Pumpkin Sugar Donuts, Cream Cheese Frosting, Brown Sugar, Zucchini, Old Town Bake Shop. Ooh, that was a mouthful to say. I get the pumpkin sugar donut. The zucchini's in the background. It's not too spicy. A little bit of the brown sugar, but this is just a good one for fall. A nice fall uh, bakery scent, I guess. This one here is Water Boy, which is pumpkin sugar donuts, marshmallow, dough boy bakery. Some of these names don't really go well with the set description. Again, this is really pumpkin-y. Honestly, I, all I'm smelling, okay, so you'll see this in my what I've been melting video, but I did melt this wax today um, that I, it was supposed to be like pumpkin pie, cr pumpkin pie and pie crust from a, a vendor that I'd, I only ordered once from. And it was, it became like a really spicy pumpkin scent and I don't like that. So that's all I'm smelling right now. It's stuck in my nose. So that, those kind of smell like that, but I know they're a little bit sweeter because I smelled them before I filmed. So 
Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, Unskinny Bop, Summer Scoop, Fresh Strawberry, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I definitely get the uh, strawberry and the summer scoop right off the top. But you do get the other scent blends from the Unskinny Bop and the Cupcakes at Tiffany's, so that is a good one. A Bridge Too Far, Pumpkin Milkshake, Mexican Fried Ice Cream, Marshmallow Smoothie, Cinnamon Sugar, Old Town Bake Shop. Oh my gosh, all these scent notes. It's a good thing I can read, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I get a little bit more of the cinnamon in this. And I think it's because of the fried ice cream. If you've had fried ice cream, it is a little bit cinnamony to me at least. So that's a good one. Splishin and Splashin, Clean and Comfy, Downy Blue, Fresh Rain Snuggle, and Fresh Outdoors. This is nice, actually. It's a memory scent, kind of. I just got like a random flashback of some sort. It kind of smells a little bit like, like a bar of soap. Mm. But you do get like the downy scent, so it maybe it's the Fresh Outdoors or something is triggering a memory scent for like a bar of soap, like Dove or something, but... This is nice. I really like this. So, Splishin' and Splashin'. Next, I have Snuggie, which is Pink Chiffon, Snuggable, April, April Fresh. I can't talk. Just a nice laundry scent. I do get the Snuggable April Fresh, I guess, the most. The Pink Chiffon is kind of lost as of right now, but it can come out more when it's cured some more, hopefully. Forever My Girl... Cinnamon Sugar Donuts, Vanilla Waffle Cone, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Now, I will say, I do love that she's been um, doing a lot of blends in the clamshells because it's cheaper, obviously. You don't have to buy the full chunk bag, and you can try out all these cool scent blends. So I really like that she's been doing that. And this recent restock she had yesterday, I even saw that she had some of her popular blends in there, like... Um, Unskinny Bop, I believe, is one of the popular ones right now, and that was in a clamshell. So if you didn't want to get it in a chunk bag, you could try it in a clamshell first. So I think that's really nice. Now, this one is really good. Um, it's not spicy. It's actually nice and like a sweet pumpkin-y. Well, not pumpkin-y. Um, Vanilla-y is what I meant to say. Vanilla-ish scent with a little bit of the cinnamon sugar donuts. Um, that's good. Lots of scents that are kind of similar, but that's okay. Something Borrowed, Pink Chiffon, Strawberry Island Fresh Gain, and Snuggable. Mm, this one's so good. So, obviously, I don't know about everyone else, but for me, Island Fresh Gain stands out the most when it when it's combined in a scent, in a scent blend. So that's what I smell first, but I get the Strawberry and the Pink Chiffon. So this is good. Um, if she offered this in a larger quantity, I would buy it in a bigger quantity. I love laundry scents. However, lately I've been melting a lot of fall just because it's been cool out, so I need to throw in some laundry blends here and there. The Choice, Jelly Donuts, Cake Batter, Buttercream Frosting, Sugar Cookie, Marshmallow, and Birthday Cake. I actually get the Jelly Donut and the Cookie, but I mean all the scent blends are kind of similar, like the Buttercream, the Birthday Cake, they're all kind of like vanilla scents, so that's a good one though, but you can actually smell the Sugar Cookie, which I love. The Help, Clean Cotton, Downy Snuggable, Flannel Sheets, and Pink Chiffon. Flannel Sheets Heavy, but followed by the Clean Cotton. And then the Pink Chiffon is what I smell. So that's a good one for just a nice, fresh laundry scent. Remember Me is Sugar Cookie Dough, Zucchini Bread, and Mexican Fried Ice Cream. This is probably going to be a good blender. Well, not that I blend anything, but... I get the zucchini bit, zucchini bread right off the top, followed by the sugar cookie, and I think that the Mexican bread ice cream kind of just mellows it out a little bit, but that's nice. Untamed tart, pumpkin pie, caramel apples, candy corn, sugar cookies, pumpkin, sugar, donut, and marshmallow. Like I said, lots of scent notes in these blends. I get the pumpkin, I get the caramel. Which lately I've been liking the caramel more and more. I don't get um, much of the sugar cookie or the candy corn. Um, and I do get a little bit of that pumpkin sugar donut. So that is nice as well. And then last but not least from the clamshells we have Rapunzel. 
I am winging this scent, um, note blend because I don't have it on the back because I forgot to look, but I believe it is strawberry and vanilla with a twist. I don't know. That's what I remember it being, but it might be slightly off. So if I had to say what I thought the twist was, it would be pink chiffon. I smell pink chiffon in this, so maybe that's what's in there as the twist. So that is all the clamshells that I got. I'm just going to move these on over. All right, on to wax. I've got, I had, I don't know how many. Let me just double check. I only got two, yeah, I only got two butt bags. The other one I already melted, so it's not going to be in this video, but it's a blend that I already hauled. It, I got another bag of um, in the butt wax blends of, um, raking the leaves which was sweater weather and leaves so that was really nice anyways so this other one that I got is salted caramel pretzels and cookies I am not a big fan of this at all whatsoever I will try it because I'm not going to knock it until I try it however I am not excited to try it so I don't know <laughs> that's not up my alley at all um next is after the wedding vanilla lace cotton candy and blackberry This is just a very sweet combination. You get the vanilla lace in the background, but mainly I get the blackberry. So that is a really good one. I really like that one. It's a kind of, it's nice, a break from the, um, the beach night blends and the salty sea air blends that I've been buying lately. So C is for cookie, blueberry, blackberry, sugar, Krona, and cookie monster. Now this is nice. However, it has something in there, which I'm assuming is the sugared Corona because I've never had that before. So I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just know that I identify something in this scent notes, um, in the scent note that is different, but this is good. I like that a lot. I don't really know what a Corona is. So I'm going to Google that after we film <laughs> this next one here is twilight Noel. This is a really long blend. So it's just like eucalyptus and lavender, um, warm woods, sugared vanilla, white musk, vanilla bean Noel. This is a memory scent for me, kind of, but I can't put my finger on why. I don't know, but it's, I, I get the lavender the most. It's just like a really deep blend. Um, like all the scent notes are honestly there, like the woody note, you get the lavender. So this is a unique one. I'll have to just try it and see how I like it. Beach Bum Bakery is blackberry ice cream, beach nights, cookie monster birthday cake. So this is only slightly different from Montego Bay, in my opinion. The first thing I get is basically Montego Bay because that's basically Blackberry and Beach Nights, but this has that birthday cake in the background, which Montego Bay does not. So that is the only difference really, in my opinion, but that is really nice. The Haunting. This one is Booberry, Wildberry Mousse, and Zucchini Noel. I wasn't quite sure if I should get this. This is probably one of the ones I got during the sale. I haven't had a booberry or a wildberry mousse blend in a while, but this is nice. I forgot that I do like booberry because I get that fruity note from the booberry and the wildberry mousse, just a slight note of the zucchini bread. So it's not like taking over the whole blend. Ichabod Crane, which is Sleepy Hollow Pine Sugar Cookies. I don't know what Sleepy Hollow is, unfortunately. I think it was a long blend, but I feel like it had orange in it because I definitely smell orange. I get the pine, but the sugar cookie is kind of lost. So that is an interesting one. I wouldn't say that I'm like obsessed with it. It's okay. It's just not like my favorite right now. Pink sugar birthday. Um, that's pretty basic. So I don't have to read the scent notes. But honestly, right now I'm getting a lot of the birthday with just a little bit of pink sugar. So hopefully they'll even out a little bit more as it um, cures some more. Pink Chiffon Blueberry Zucchini Sugar Cookies. I definitely get the Pink Chiffon right off the bat. Followed by the Blueberry. And I feel like I get the Zucchini, but the Sugar Cookie is kind of just more of like a blender note. It's not really super strong right now or noticeable, but that is a really good one. 
Sugar Mountain. This was actually, um, the scent description on the website was wrong, but I saw it on her list of restocks um, a while ago. I just never bought it, and I knew what the scent notes were supposed to be, even though online it's, on her website, this scent note was like a zucchini and apple and something else. So, anyways, this is Blue Sugar Sugared Spruce Noel. Really good. I like, I love Blue Sugar. And then you get the, I feel like the sugared spruce um, is like a pine scent to me. But, yeah, I really like that. Basically, it smells like blue sugar and like pine. Adaptation is the next one here, which is pink chiffon chocolate orchid sugar cookies. I definitely get the pink chiffon and the chocolate orchid. However, I'm, I'm feeling like the sugar cookie is just kind of getting lost in these blends for me. Um, usually you can smell it right away and it's a distinct smell of sugar cookie, but it's more of a blender note right now. So that's still good. I just wish that the cookie came out more. Cozy Cabin Type. This is so good. This is one of my favorites. I had it in a smaller quantity. So when I saw it in a big bag, I was like, yeah, I need that. I don't know how to describe this other than it smells like you're in a cabin and it's fall and you just went to Michael's or something like that. It's not like potpourri, but it smells like a fall craft store or something mixed with the cabin. It's really good. You just have to try it if you like that type of scent. It is a little bit outdoorsy too. Like there's a crispness to it. And then the last chunk bag I got was Cider House Rules. This was kind of one that I just wanted to try because I like cider donut. However, I only have only tried the vanilla fudge butter in the in the kitchen blends. So I wanted to just see if this was good. And I'm actually really glad that I tried it. It's really good. The cider donut is very, like, it's not spicy. It's sweet to me. And then the vanilla fudge butter just makes it even more sweet and creamy. Mm, that's really good. So if you're in one of those moods where you don't really want a spicy fall scent, I feel like this would really like work for, you know, for that type of day where you don't want a spicy fall scent. You just want something fallish but sweet. So anyways, guys, that is what I ordered. I did, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I ordered from her restock yesterday, so I will haul that. And then I think I'll be on a low buy, no buy for a while just because cleaning out all my wax bag or wax my wax closet and just need to get rid of some of the stuff I don't want reach for anymore need to start melting through some of my new blends and then go from there let me know um, if you've got any of these scents also I posted a poll in my Instagram I haven't checked the results yet because I just did it but I usually well I used to rebag these into the polypropylene bags let me know if I should do that again I mean they are space saving however it just like takes time to do so should I keep these in the originals or should I rebag them? All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.